sometimes I wonder why I even spend any time creating little videos or stories. Why do we share all these things with each other? And is it even a genuine reflection of our lives, of my real life? Is it even possible to express my real life? It's really so intricate and nuanced. And there's so many realities happening just inside of me and in all of us. But inside of me, as I do all these things, as I set up these items, you might see me, but if you could hear my thoughts, if you could hear my mind thinking, or if you could feel the way I do as I experience the objects and the memories and the hopes for these growing leaves or the meals I'll make from the cookbooks while I sit here and thumb through the pages and look at the pictures for inspiration and imagine sharing time with you. I wish I could show you all the fun placing of the items with the fun of finding myself and all these things that I do, all these little ways that I exist and create these spaces in my world and in my life and the joy I have of sharing it with you. I brought in a tomato plant that was still going strong and it smells so good like summer. I got a citrus plant at the end of the season to bring inside too. And this is actually an eggplant. And there's still a little blossom on there that's maybe gonna bloom this year inside. We'll see. But here's so many little treasures that I just love. <laughs> and a friendship plant that was given to me. And all the little micro things. There's actually really teeny tiny little snails in there in addition to the one that's bigger. Itty bitty bitty ones. So many sweet treasures of nature. And we've got some seeds of gathered along the way. And a little yogi frog with some meditation. Chestnuts gathered from back home. Uh, it's just a really sweet little spot to sit in the morning when having breakfast. I love to open up the door in the springtime. This is one of my favorite little nooks. And I really love how the floor is left out.